What happened to the outcasts? What generally happened to outcasts? They become lost in transition. Mm. Andre 3000, wasn't that who the... I mean, he still does stuff on occasion. One of them, like, went off the rails and quit doing stuff, right? He did, um... He was on a show, on a song in, like, 2012? Hmm. 11? Hmm. 12. 2012. Because he he did a song with Frank Ocean. Oh, okay. All right. So that was um, called um, on his first album. Yeah. Not the not the um, not the uh, mixtapes, but yeah, the um, yeah, yeah. the um, album Channel Orange. It's really good. Um, but it's called um, Pink Matter. Mm. I won't tell you what it's about. It's right. not very nice. No spoilers on this episode. But it's a good it's a good song. Oh. But it's not very My mom finally watched the milk runs. <laughs> what did she say? She thought they were really goofy. Yeah. Goofy is what we aim for. I know what we can do. Why the sword fight? You use real knife and I'll use another one. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I win. You put your knife up first, so I technically won. Yeah. Got you there, bus Buster. 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 Okay. Let's get this caboose rolling. I also have another good marine bus song for the intro. So what are we gonna talk about today? What about this? Oh yeah. Let's talk about Toys R Us. Do yeah. we already talk about Toys R Us? Yeah, we can. Do we already talk about Toys R Us? We have not. Okay. Let's I, think, I think I like, think I briefly mentioned it. Let's do that. And we can do... Talk about the Planet Nerf run. Because um, there are definitely more than a few busters I would like to grab from there. Even if they're not on sale, I will buy them. Yeah. Because I don't want to order them from Amazon because I'm lazy. Yeah, oh, yeah. You can probably order them from Toys R Us. Also, I have Prime. I'm on Prime. Yeah. But I haven't used it. <coughs> but I, use, I listen to music on it, though. No, that's good. Um, Do I've been using the um, the videos a little bit. So. Such a good song. <coughs> that's, that's I know that song. What is that song? In the mood. Because it's, typ <laughs> it's typically sex song. Yes. Because mm -hmm. I used to know that. Uh, it sounds great. Um, well, yeah, so we'll do that. All right. And okay. then we'll do. We can talk about me going on a four-day backpack trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. that. We can talk about uh, stats of the. I'll mention the stats of the viewing party episode. Why it's mm -hmm. long and yeah, all that. that'll be good. And then talk about it being on a regular schedule. Yes. What's the first of this episode? Um, so Dalton and Robert are for March, right? Maybe. Maybe yeah, I'll have to I'll have to talk to everybody, okay. and it will have to be the last like weekend of March, like right before Easter. Well, that's next weekend. Weekend after. So twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. Oh, that's right. There's one more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll work. <laughs> I had this. I thought the exact okay, good. same. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> the exact same. I was like, <gasps> you know. Oh, never mind that. <laughs> hmm. All right, ready. I guess we could mention uh, the uh, pizza thing. Not where, just yeah. Some say we'll start doing some like some stuff. things in the pipeline. No. Oh yeah, because that Sunday that mm -hmm. I get back, next mm -hmm. Sunday that I get back, mm -hmm. I'll be ready to eat some darn. Food. Okay, all right, we'll do it next Sunday then. I'll be ready, to eat. big boy. Eat. We'll do that then. Um. Cause that won't be Easter Sunday. No. Um. What are we gonna do for Easter Sunday? <laughs> oh. We can record Saturday. I'm fine with Sunday. I don't really care. Ooh, actually, you know what? I think if if we go up to if we go up to Rock Island, which we traditionally go up to, we can talk about it. If we go up to Rock Island, we can mm. record like on the river at Rock Island. Mm. Now that would be a bleeping nice set. <laughs> well, but um. That'd be nice. But the, it's in Viola though. Not next Sunday. For Easter Sunday. 
Next Sunday is the Viola food trip. Or do you go to the... What do you mean? Do you go to the river for Easter? I'm confused. Yeah, we go up. We have a cousin okay. that lives on the ri- that lives on the river in okay. Rock Island. Well, I just meet you there. Oh, okay. And then can we just, re- we can just record it? I mean, I'm not doing it. Like, I mean, we eat dinner, and then once we're done, we're done. Yeah. We, I'll we be eat, free in the evening. So. We eat dinner, and then we just, like, we do Whatever. one egg, Easter egg hunt, because everybody's, like, older than yeah. 15 now. Yeah. My cousins are getting married. There's no point in doing each other. Yeah, tons no, of no. eggs. So, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. We can plan it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah, ready? If we need to do Saturday, we can do Saturday. It's no big deal. Yeah, exactly. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, um, I'm not worried about it. I'll work. The show will... The show must go on! <laughs> Preposterous! Ooh, we can talk about... Um, New Warren Arts play, which I'm excited for. Mm, we age. can now, yeah. We can actually talk about <laughs> and it now. I will also say why I'm not doing any of it. We can also we can talk about it now. Yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been for like three months. Nice. All right, ready. <laughs> Inside park. No, I'm just gonna. Not park. really. <laughs> but Ooh, we need to have. Uh, oh, we do. We do. No, that'd be a good know. episode. That'd be a good yeah. viewing party, also. Ooh, watch some '80s movie for the viewing party. <gasps> All right, we got it. Ooh, for yeah. April. Many ideas. Um, I'm gonna write that down. Write that down. Here we go. Because the play starts somewhat in May. May? Yeah. It's, I think it's the same May that I'm going to rendezvous at Boxwell. Hopefully they have a Thursday. If they have if they have a Thursday night show, that'd be perfect. May fourth. I'm sure they will. They have the last two. Yeah, the last. Part of 80s. Oh, yeah, the last two have been have been. Anyway. Okay, I put that down. 80s party edition. Right, uh, Viewing party edition. Okay. Here we go. Ready. Party time that's happening in that. Uh, what a wild and fat beat. <laughs> wicka, wicka. What a party time that's happening. Oh boy. That Jamba Marimba. I've used uh, both of theirs, both of those YouTube videos for the last intro only because they sound nice. Only because they're jazzy and snazzy. Jazzy and snazzy. Like my I, hands. Oh yeah. Woo. I want to buy a Marimba. So you're going to say my hands. Mm. I was really confused. No, I was like, I was like you, can't, you can't have those. I have your hands every Sunday afternoon when I record a podcast. You just have my voice. My hands are my own. The podcast, which is the Third Opinion Podcast. This is episode 29. Welcome. Welcome back. We're almost to the big 3-0. The big 30. We are uh, recording this one March 18th, 2018. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. in the afternoon. 1700? It's a real good time. Whatever. Yeah, I think it's 17. 30 minutes, ready? No, 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 no. Oh. Ethan, what do you want to talk about today? What are you... you what? <laughs> what are you throwing the ball at me for? We're one minute in. I can't catch. <laughs> you didn't mention sports. <laughs> no. So we got some spicy meatballs here. Mm-hmm. Not to be confused with, with the Massachusetts ones. Mm-hmm. Aren't you glad they won the Super Bowl? I know. I think they're going to win the March Madness bracket, too. <laughs> we, need to, we need to come up with that one. We'll so so it worked. Later. It worked. They've been doing a bracket. Like, brackets. Yeah. And everybody was, everybody was like, oh, who'd you pick for your bracket? And I was just like, I said, well, it took me a lot of time. A lot of, consider- a lot of consideration. I can't even say it with a straight face. I did then. I said it very very straight face. Yep. So it took a lot of time, a lot of consideration into this. And I believe I've narrowed it down. To the team that uh, passes the ball, uh, scores the points, and uh, ultimately um, makes the most uh, baskets. And you, and you did the, one, the ones with the highest, the ones with the highest score, will ultimately be the winner. And, and that, and that's the best team. And then you had party poppers. And then I walked off. Yeah, nice. Dropped, dropped the mic like a vandal. Rolled out. Shot it down the ice. That's a, that's a good picture. Yeah, it was really funny. I think they they. It took a good minute for it to sink in, and they were just like, "Oh, oh, oh you, Dad Ethan Duncan, he's that a real boy. goofy boy." That boy. So it was funny. That is funny. It was a good time. Hey, Ethan, I like funny bits. Bits, you know? of, bits of what? Coin? Ha cha cha cha. No, just funny. Just turn into the Ethan Elisha comedy hour. Yeah, we do the episode eventually. We should. That'd be great. Like an old time. 
radio. We could stylize comedy. it like an old. We could we could talk in a tin can so it sounds all muffled. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> we can just go back to my house. <laughs> True words, never spoken. <laughs> I think my mom does have like an old Sennheiser, like an old eighties microphone. Ooh, that'd be cool. Only problem is that it's like you have to do a bunch of old inputs for it, mm, yeah. which I'm already doing that with this one. Like I mean, my, I record with an AT with an Audio Technica 2020. We're already X. running on a, a foot power. Or not the X. A foot crank generator over here. Yeah, yeah, we are. Can't That's you hear how it? We power Ryan? these four these four household uh, lamps. You hear it? Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I already do like a XLR conversion for this microphone to USB. Yeah. Which I need to get us the thing that. Mr. Dalton Pack, let us borrow. I'm number 10, I like I understand what you're saying. Audio uh, talk. Audio stuff. Shout out to all my audio nerds. Science. She blinded me <laughs> with science. <laughs> oh, now that we're talking about the 80s. Mm. <laughs> Segway. Segway. Uh, I'll also link this in the, face, in the description yeah. of the YouTube video. Um, the new Warren Arts play is an 80s musical. Oh. And I've never been so excited in my life. <laughs> I'm sure this is like your your ever childhood fantasy come to life. No, it is. But the only problem is that it's a musical. And I want to audition because it's the 80s. I can't sing. <laughs> I could feel your how distraught you were when I told you it was a musical. You were like, no! Yeah, I was like, no! <laughs> that's, that's the most heartbroken I've been in years. Are we out of pretzels? We have one pretzel crumb left. I apologize for being fat. <laughs> well, we only have one bag. To and share. hungry. That's yeah. I'm, it's fine. You don't want. You won't like me when I'm hungry. <laughs> My uh, stomach gurgles and I get slightly grumpy. I looked at some of the songs that they were going to play. I've already forgotten. Yeah. Them. But like uh, some of them, I was like, I might be able to like, kind of sing they that one. <laughs> good. They had some good auditions. The audio lineup was great. Um, it is really, like really the, the entire. The entire lineup is is just great. Warren Arts. It's really good. Um, but the play is back to the eighties. Yeah. Well, and yeah. it is a I'm musical. Excited for it. It's like first weekend in May. I with think. a gentleman retelling uh his yesteryears. Yesteryear. High school yesteryears. High school yesteryears in in the in the best way possible in song. Yeah, and uh, some wonderfully nostalgic eight songs. Which I don't get nostalgia like almost ever. Pretty much, I never get nostalgia, right? Lasha, I remember when I was into nostalgia. I bet you do, Ethan. I do. Hundred hundred years ago. Hundred fifty years ago. Bound in the Bayou. Partnering with the Warren County High School and their drama, choir, and art programs. They are. They're here. bringing in a, a good bit of people to work with stuff. They're, We've got doing um, a big one. This mm -hmm. is the great big art. Yeah, they're they're, they're bringing in all the stops on this one, so I'm really excited to see what they bring together because we've got a lot of talented people. I can't find the songs. We got um, Mark Pyburn and Rob Nunley, mm -hmm. great guys. Mm -hmm. Rob or Rob was uh, Mr. Potter, and oh, it's was. a wonderful life. Yeah, he was wasn't he? A uh, real talented dude. Which is still like, still really good. I know. Still just a top. And two. then Mark was. The main guy. He was George. George, George. Bailey. As it, <laughs> How's, How's it going, going George? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, he was the telephone man in Barefoot in the Park. Which is still, was probably my favorite. That's good. I love, we had a lot of people really enjoyed it, which this, is great. This is my I Honestly, I think this one is going to knock its socks off. Probably. Well, it being a musical, like, Just with, like, the talent notes. and stuff. And, you know, it's a bigger cast, which is always, yeah. fun. always fun. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see what they're doing. I'm... Um, Taking a break on this one, so which means you get to watch them with me. Yeah, I know. I'm I wanted to be in it, in you know, in it. And, I'm excited and to just watch it, and enjoy it. Yeah, I'm excited to watch all of them more movies. than anything. I wanted to be in it. I wanted to audition and everything for it. You could tell my excitement and disappointment through the phone. Yeah. But then as soon as you said it's a musical through your text, and I was like, ah, conversation. Elisha can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> you know the song um, by Dead or Alive. Oh, what's the name of that song? I was the name of the song. Wanted. You spin me right round. I spin me right around, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The part where it's like he's yelling. I won't do it for the radio. Solely because people don't. No one wants to hear that. No, they don't. Uh, but like with the part where he's yelling. You know, he he yells yeah. about most of the song. Yeah. 
But like in the middle part, he was like, I love yeah, he's Jonah. like with the Rebel Yell. No, it's Billy Idol. No, it's that's Rebel Yell by Billy Idol. So let's talk about anything else now. <laughs> did I did I kill it? I'm sorry. No, you didn't kill it. I just I want to move on. <laughs> Soil it. <laughs> Soil it. <laughs> I'll link the Warren Arts thing in the. Uh, but no, it's gonna be good. Uh, let me. See. It is May fourth through sixth. May fourth is that Thursday. Yeah. Which is good because I'm leaving for. Uh, no, it's a Friday. It's a Friday. Yeah. I might have to go up that. So. Sunday morning then. Yeah. So apparently I am not missing one of these plays. Friday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Four, five, six. Friday at Friday, Saturday, seven Saturday. Saturday. Which means I'll have to drive two to and Sunday at two. Friday at seven thirty. It says seven. Seven. Seven okay. nine. Seven nine. Cool. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, it's gonna be good. I'm excited. excited for it. Um, in between then and now, we've got some exciting things. We have a lot of stuff that we want to do. Planned, uh, which so it sounds like it's gonna be an exciting April. Some good content coming down the pipeline. Ooh, good content! Uh, we an got exciting another into March. movie parody. Not parody. I don't know why I said parody. Uh, we have another viewing another party. Another movie parody. Why do I keep saying parody? I don't know why I keep saying parody. Because <coughs> I'm trying to sing and it's not working. I don't know what you're doing. We have another viewing party episode. Another viewing party, which the first viewing one has not come out. Episode. Let me explain this real quick. <laughs> Elisha is lazy. No, just <laughs> I can't. Ethan I can't. Is, I can't. Ethan I can't. is not wrong. <laughs> Ethan also so doesn't know how to edit. So we recorded four hours of footage, three and a half hours of audio. Which is a lot of footage. And we're condensing it. I'm condensing it down yeah. to one hour, right around there. While also still making it all of the following. Watch my hand motions. Entertaining. Ooh. Ah. Funny. Concise. Ah. But makes sense. Exciting. Which um, I know we we talked about it. Oh yeah. We're gonna test out a couple of different formats on these oh, to yeah. see which one works the best. Yes. So, so look, look out for another exciting poll. The this the very first episode of the viewing party will come out before April. That is a guarantee. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> I'm not laughing at anything. Those were merely guttural grunts. Yeah, excuse you. Excuse you, Mr. Pardon ape, me. Mr. Ape Man. You calm down, Tommy. Tom Tom. <laughs> Mr. Ape Man. <laughs> calm down, Mr. Tom Tom. <laughs> you're getting right unruly. He's an unruly boy, that Mr. Tom Tom. So, but no, so that's coming uh, down the pipeline. We that will have come a out couple of potential guests that we have to rifle through, Indeed. which is exciting. We have options. We have options now, finally. They Look, don't. They don't want to do We finally podcast. made it. We have 20 who don't like our posts, but five of them look at it, and we have 10 loyal watchers on YouTube. Hey, that's great. We've made it. The big time. <laughs> we sure have, Ethan. And let me tell you what it's All like. all I've ever aspired time. for in life. <laughs> Mediocrity. <laughs> But that's just that's just the way we are, though. But no, it's just a step of the iceberg, though. You know, like it's growing and it's getting there. Um, I said whenever the first viewing viewing party yeah. comes out, we need to share it big time. Yeah, agreed. I've shown it to Trevor, who was on the very first viewing yeah. party. Spoiler alert! And he thought the editing was great. He said the editing is like any other YouTube show. And I'm like, I also heard a lot. Elisha also said the editing was great, but I don't know why that was. It's <clears> almost <throat> like he was has personal attachment to it. But. I don't know. If I don't know about it. I could delete the very first viewing party, <laughs> and I would feel nothing. <laughs> now, that's a guarantee. I'm cold inside. It's taken all of my energy just to make one viewing party episode. <laughs> How will you make it through 500 more? Oh. Oh, we. Dear Lord, please. <laughs> please. Please kill me now. <laughs> End it. So no, but I'll, it. I'll no, get yeah. it out before April, and then that will be a good time. It'll be a month late on topical because we talked about Black Panther. Which is all right. Which is all right. People still. Well, it'd be, it it's still in the news. It broke one billion. It did. Shout out to me for being Nostradamus again. I don't see how. That's like <laughs> I don't see. I don't see how you can predict like four things already on the bingo card. Which is we need to patent the bingo card. Oh, we do. Twenty eighteen bingo uh, boys. Bingo Bonanza card. Bingo Oh, Bonanza. speaking of which, when, if any more comes out in April. It does. It moved up a week. So we might. It moved up a week. Awesome. So, so that might have to be our well, April no, no, no. Actually, it moved up a month? It moved it's up, the 27th it moved, of April now. It moved up one week. Because it wasn't no, that's right. It was the 4th. Yeah, 4th. that's right. Yeah. That's right. So we will. That will be our April film. 
I'm not sure if we want that to be our April film or if we want that to be a podcast Bingo Bonanza episode. Also, Either way, we need to do the, the Bingo Car for a favorite. Game. We do. I'm also really upset because I was really excited for Annihilation. Me too. And it was supposed to come to Netflix <laughs> this past Tuesday. Yeah. And it did. Oh, did in it? In Australia. Oh. And Europe. Well, we don't live in Ireland. And there's no planned release date so far. Ethan, we don't live in either of those. We don't. I'm sad. I'm sad, too. I thought it was coming so internationally, so I didn't go see it in theaters. And now I'm upset I didn't either. because I didn't get to see it. Isn't it in uh, Three Star? <sighs> no. It might we be. can go to Nashville or Cookville to watch it. I don't know. I don't it. think it's still out. It's not at Cookville. Like, it was there for like two weeks. It was gone. It we only did like seven. It go. only did like seven million dollars. It, it didn't do like very good. We can go. But it's rated to the well. Theater. Yeah, we can know. go. To, we can go to the Dollar Theater in Nashville. That oh, still the, has the Last um, Jedi. That's a fact. It's the one over near ba- Vanderbilt. Yeah, isn't that wherever it is? Oh, yeah. Or is it in Green Hills? I forget. I think it's in Vanderbilt. I know I there's by Vanderbilt. I think there's one near Vanderbilt. It's the. There's like four Dollar Theaters it's in Nashville. The, there's one that shows like independent films in Nashville. That's really fun. I went and saw Under the Skin there. Ooh. It was a good movie. Mm-hmm. I had a good time. So that's definitely an option we can do. Nice little bar, uh, bars, and, March or bars and grills around the area. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to figure out the March movie because we are running out of time. Um, a Quiet Place comes out. Ooh, I March. think it comes out next week. Actually, what movie comes out like? What movie comes out the 29th? I don't know because we can watch whatever film that is. Like, I, I, really I think to Quiet watch Place comes out the 23rd. March which I believe film releases is next. I'm also uh, repainting my nails. Excuse me. I know I can smell it from here. Yep, it's delicious. It smells like. I wonder how the Tomb Raider did. Pacific Rim Uprising. No, I don't care about that. Well, I do know that <laughs> Black Panther crushed it by twenty-seven million dollars at the box office. <laughs> but uh, who's counting? By twenty-seven <laughs> gazillion dollars. <laughs> oh, I think it was Ready Player One. We can who's see. Ready, Ready, Ready oh, is that this month? Yeah, because that March. I've heard it's do it. it uh, it's previewed well. Sherlock Gnomes. That can be our bad movie for the month if we can't find anything else. That sounds delightful. A Wrinkle in Time, Death Wish, Love I don't want to see A Wrinkle in Oprah. <laughs> I don't either. Uh, An I Oprah in Time. The Hurricane Heist. Those are the only big ones that are It's a good out. movie, but I don't... No, I mean, it's a good book. Excuse me. I'll enjoy the book. But like, you already saw the film? <laughs> I don't like that. You already saw the movie? I don't know if the film's any good. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Quiet Place comes out on April 6th. So maybe we could go see... I'll be seeing that regardless. Um, yeah, me too. So that can be our April movie, possibly. And then we, and then we can do Infinity War for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. We can have just, just we can do, just have just Trevor do a podcast, podcast episode. Yeah, uh, that might that yeah might that really would work. Do. He was a he did a good job. He was a delightful I'm treat. Proud of he said boy. everything he did on the show was cringy, and I said no. That's the beauty. No, here's why you're wrong. Because everything that everyone said was funny. Yeah. Well timed, and entertaining in some way. Agreed. Everybody did great on the first episode, except, which will release before the end of March. Except for Andrew. Oh, poor Andrew. Because he's a vegetarian. I'm just kidding. He's a vegan. No, I'm just, <laughs> he's, he's a ve- vegetarian. Vegetarian. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, he, everybody no, Everybody did extremely everybody well. Everybody was good. Yeah. If, if if somebody didn't do well, it was probably me. Or me. It was probably me or you because we've done this 20, we're like, ah, 29 it, times. It <laughs> it's fine. And then Andrew, naturally, it's just the way he is, like, no matter what the circumstances. He has, like, that sleepy melodic tone. That's just the way he it's is. It's hypnotizing. It is. Um... Put you right to sleep. I really want to talk about the viewing party. We haven't seen anything about it. I haven't. It's goofy. It's goofy. I'm it's excited. Really funny. I think it's gonna be good. It's goofy. It's really funny. And I'm gonna. I'm the thing that's taking the. All longest. I know is I quoted inconceivable, way too many times. Oh no, you didn't. And the worst part is. Yeah. I wasn't even there to watch the Princess Bride later. Yeah, which is hilarious that it ended up that way. Inconceivable. <laughs> um. Ugh. I don't think you think that. I don't think that means what you think it means. What a good movie. It's a great movie. Um. Anyway, well, yeah. what's we're at like sixteen minutes? Let's talk about uh, Toys R Us shutting down for good. Shutting down that it, I was really sad. I never went to Toys R Us for anything ever. I never went. To it Toys was R a R big R part of it, it. Was a big deal for my childhood. Yeah, because I was I still in the era of big toy stores. Yeah, like we had KB Toys <laughs> when I was growing up. Ooh, there's still a KB Toys like in LA that. Uh, really? That I know. Um, that's that's really Steve cool. Steve Zaragoza. That makes he me excited. goes to KB Toys every like, every once in a while. That makes me excited. Still KB Toys. I loved KB Toys though. That place was like one, 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 one. It's like a small wonderland. 
a winter wonderland they had the most random toys though yeah but uh, they, were, they were a good time but toys r us toys r us was on another level and even now like i toys go in r like was... i go into toys r us now and i'm still excited like i'm like i'm gonna buy there's the stuff i want to buy like there's games toys r us is a big box store yeah only for toys i know and that's so cool that is so cool I do hate that it's closing down. Like nothing but in the age like of that, Amazon man. and Walmart yeah, stepping up no, their game, it just it's there's just, no way it it, it donut. Amazon exists. broke some more news lately, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, it I think they're on their way to be the first trillion dollar company, though. So somebody's. <clears throat> I believe it. Uh, anyway, which is interesting. I have said before in the podcast, I'm on side Amazon when the uh, big box store wars happen. <laughs> When Walmart's giant mech fights Amazon's giant mech. I remember that. We discussed that. Yeah. <laughs> we, didn't we, like, pitch a whole movie plot about that, basically, on that well, episode? I'm sure we did. I'm pretty sure we did. We'll I have to go back and listen to that. Right. But I'm pretty sure that's what we did. I'm pretty sure that was a bit we did. That sounds about right. But no, I was really sad. Because that's, I mean, that's that was a part of my childhood. Like, I remember. Which is what happens. Probably one of my, my most fond memories of Toys R Us was when I was, like, I think I was, like, in, Oh, or 13. Forever ago. Which is a little old to go. I mean, it's kind of like right on the cusp. You know? Like, 12, you're like, toys are still acceptable, but... I don't know. You I'm know, like you're starting, I still have tons of toys. I mean, I, I do too. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, in terms of, like, you know, like, cool, yeah. like middle school coolness, you know? Like, you're kind of <laughs> on that cusp of, like... The ultimate well, coolness. It's, it's all right, but it's a little bit frowned upon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But... I never got over that. I went, I went there... Pokemon Sapphire. And nice. I played that sucker all the way home from Murfreesboro. I was so excited. Got it on release day. Nice. Big memory for me. Big. But, and you know, just going in there and just looking at stuff. Like, even if I didn't buy anything, I was just like, oh, you know, like all these things yeah. I'll never have. They were just, they were just neat, like, to see. <laughs> but. I don't remember anything about Toys R Us. On the cusp of that. You know, I remember like me going one time and not like getting anything. <laughs> Only because this would have been like mid 2000s. It's a terrible memory and you should feel bad for remembering it. Can't help you. Sorry. I'm just messing with you. Yeah. They're your memories. Thanks. Um, do with them as you will. I do. I remember everything all the time. I have the best from. I have the best memory. <laughs> the bigliest. Bigliest. The bigliest memory. What about uh? But anyway, whoever I th- Trump fired. I th- oh, the real briefly. That, that was I was. That's weird. I don't like. I don't know. I don't really know the situation. I haven't really kept up with it. Honestly, yeah, like I did it for the radio station. I did the North. Because I like. I get so fr- I get so frustrated anytime. There's I, so I much. Hear, also, anytime I hear his name, I'm just like, you know, like yeah. what? What have you done now? Yeah, that's what it seems like. Anyway, but anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Whereas if he's doing a good or bad job. I don't really. I can't really comment on it. I haven't paid much attention lately, so yeah, not important. Out of our hands, doesn't matter. But um, can't change anything about it anyway. So exactly. it doesn't really matter. But um, but yeah, the the one thing that I did that did, I was kind of like really like because he fired him two days before he was supposed to retire. Yeah, so then I don't know. Seventy two hours before he got, he, before he got his government I was pension. like, I was like, really? Which takes twenty years for you to get that pension? Yeah, I was like, I mean, even like even if he did something bad, yeah. You've done the job for twenty years. You no, know, like that's just not nice. That's, that's just not good. I mean, that's just not good. Like, why can't you wait another three? Like, well, why can't you wait like another two and a half days? Dude? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? it seems like really spiteful, kind of. It really does, and I don't even know what, unnecessarily. Like I said, I really don't even know what the situation was. Yeah, I can't really comment on it too much, but I don't get just it. seeing that. I was just like, well, that just seems kind of stinky. And then the person that they put in place, I think it was the CIA director. Maybe it, I don't. I don't really. The know. person that, that they put in place of him is a woman. Everyone, all the Republicans on the other side are like, "Oh, that's great! Finally, a woman in some kind of position like that." Yeah, which is which is fine. Which is fine. But the fact that she was like a torturer in the oh. Iraq right around the mid two thousands period. Well, to that's, be, she oversaw a lot of that. To be fair, to be fair, probably a lot of those people have done that at some point. That's what I was thinking. You know what I mean? I was thinking it's probably not the worst part. I mean, I could. I'm sure I'm wrong about that. But yeah. I'm. I'm sure there. There are a lot of dark and gray areas. Oh, where, I know there is. There. Has you know what I mean? Be. Like that. 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 Lots of agents do. You know. Yeah. So I don't know. There's a lot that we don't hear about. Yeah. A lot no, of absolutely. Stuff. And we're better. I'm pretty sure we're better off not hearing a lot of it. You know. I'd agree. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm all for transparency. 
you know. But yeah. I, I think there are certain things. That oh, we, I'm glass nosed all the way, baby. We just don't. <laughs> you, but you know what I mean? Like, well, there are certain things we just don't need to know. There's no point in knowing. It is a. It is. I mean, we can't thing. do anything about it. To talk to go back to Ethan's conspiracy corner. <laughs> I won't get my nails wet. Um, I'm such a curl. We excuse you, rude, Lassie. Ah. Um, we talked about like if there were aliens, it would just cause mass pandemonium. Right. <laughs> right. That just it would like Speaking whether of people aliens, are like I'm into it, I'm ready for it. Speaking of aliens, it would cause hysteria. We have, we took a mass detour here from Toys R Us, but doesn't matter. We'll That's go, what we're talking. We'll about. We'll get back to it. This is what our conversation. We'll get back to like. it. We'll yeah, get back yeah. to it. The guy, the guy that supposedly came went to the future or came back from the past or something. Did you see that? Hold on. <laughs> Did you see that article? No. It's been around for like a month. Yeah. But he made claims that that aliens have been coming back and forth. So there's a supposed photograph from the future from this guy. It is ridiculous. <laughs> you need to watch. There's like a 30 minute video of him explaining <laughs> this. It is incredibly interesting. I don't believe a minute of it. No. Don't think I believe any of it. Yeah. But it is incredibly entertaining. Send that to me and I'll put it in the, in the description of this. Yeah, video. I'll I'll have to I'll here I'll look it up right that now. That sounds so But yeah, funny. it's bananas. What about that that mansion that was in Arizona? Oh, excuse me. That was in Arizona being sold for like three million dollars, and I didn't the see guy that. said that supposedly there's a portal to a, an alien world <laughs> in his backyard, and he has killed multiple aliens <laughs> with samurai sword and AK-47. You know what I say? In the middle of Arizona. You know what I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say we put that guy in charge of the military because he clearly knows what he's doing. He clearly knows what he's up to. That man needs to be training people. What it's funny is like people are like, oh, yeah, well, where, where are the bodies after you kill these aliens? He's like, oh, they, they disappear whenever they die. <laughs> they like, hold on. Well, that's convenient. That's, that's awful convenient. That is awful convenient. <laughs> Sir, I thought that oh, was so boy. funny. I'll have to put that uh Here, I'll, I'll send you this article. Send me that one, and I'll find the find alien him. one and put it in the description of this video also. I'm trying to find a decent reputable. I'm going to send you the the one from the Enquirer. <laughs> Close enough. It's, and that's probably the most reputable source yes. on this issue. <laughs> Which says something. What about but, um, extraterrestrial bananas. aliens, maybe? What about them aliens? Oh, speaking what's of... What's the deal with aliens? What's the deal? Now that we're on the topic of conspiracy stuff, <laughs> which I'm glad we went down this route. This took a strange return. It did. It did t- take a strange I'm return. I'm fine with it, but I, it I am a too. strange turn. What did you think about um, Alex Jones, who is now in big, deep trouble? Is he? He is in big, deep trouble I haven't heard about now. this. Please tell me. He was talking to the Amazon Echo, the Alexa, mm-hmm. and he's like, and he's like, Alexa, do you work for the CIA? <laughs> And then it, it being the Amazon Echo, I was like, no, I work for Amazon. I work for Amazon.com. And he's like, Alexa, do you know that Jeff Bezos is actually like a lizard person or what, whatever? <laughs> Not verbatim, but yeah, what he said, yeah, like, yeah, do yeah. you know that Jeff Bezos is actually like a, a, a crazy conspiracy person? And like it cut him off because he was saying pauses in a sentence like too long. Yeah. So the Echo's like, I'm sorry, I don't understand. He's like, Alexa. Like he got fired up at this at this Amazon Echo. So why is he in trouble over this? <laughs> he's in he's not in trouble over that. Yeah, he's in trouble because of like I mean he, he was like of, endangering his he kids does a or lot something. Of stupid stuff. Don't get me wrong. He does do a lot of stupid stuff. That man is. He was like endangering his children. I would love to follow him around for a day <laughs> and just watch him just do normal stuff. He like I, I picture him just like he does not do normal like stuff. going to Starbucks and just flipping out. <laughs> like everything he does, I just picture him just. Oh, <laughs> I refuse. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, this coffee's a demon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm right on that cup's a demon. Oh, he totally does. You know he does. That guy's crazy. That guy is crazy. Oh Whew. boy. Boy, is he entertaining? Huh? He is. That's what's what's crazy about it is like he is absolutely insane. He can't believe what he says. There's no way that he does. I don't. There I is don't no way. It. But every time anybody asks him about it, he's like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And no, he is very cool. believable. Like, he is believable that he believes what he says. So I don't even know. I don't know. You know what I think He it said is? in court that it's, I think, it's a character. I think he has gone off the deep end. <laughs> just act like he. it's gotten to the point where he has convinced himself. Yes. Does no, that make that sense? That happens more often like than he's, you Like, think. he's inceptioned himself oh, yeah. is what I feel like. That like, happens like, more often than you, know, you It's like think. Tropic Thunder. He's a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. He doesn't know who he is anymore. He doesn't. He's just he's just lost in this crazy character. 
He lives in Texas, I think. That, that also sounds no, that, about right. Yeah. That doesn't, yeah, that sounds about right. I wish I could play like any of those videos like his, of his voice clip. Oh boy, he's so crazy. Anyway. He is. It's a good time. But yeah, a I couple things so. coming down the pipeline though. Yeah, we're excited. Back on topic. Go to the Facebook page. That's where you get like the premier source of information. Well, only because like we've just been doing pocket episodes yeah, and editing the program. I haven't done a good job with I need to do. I need well, to do better about also, that. Also, here here is the official statement from Ethan and Elisha. Ethan is the social social medium person, man. the media man, and I'm more of the behind the scenes technical work stuff, which is why I'm editing mm-hmm. the program and doing all the computer work, all the microphone work, mm-hmm. and, and Ethan's more of the hey, do you like podcasts? Hey, I've got a pretty face. <laughs> you don't have to list, look at it. Listen to this voice. I'd say approachable. Thank you. You're welcome. My six appreciates you. Yeah. Out of 100, that is. It's fine. Bum, 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 bum. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I did it before you did it this time. You didn't. Uh, so we have a lot of stuff Probably. coming. I'm excited. But yeah, Big so excited for it. Trip, we're going to make a trip to get to acquire more Nerf Blasters. We might make that a video. For the Arsenal? Yeah. I believe. I think the SD card's getting full. Either uh, way. I think it is. It's blinking on us. Um, Winking at us. Anyway, uh, we also have a trip plan next week. Yes, which we'll announce more on that on Facebook. Yeah, we'll talk about that more on Facebook. Might be fun. I'm going to be gone all next week, backpacking and bo- and uh, venturing, yeah. Boy Scout venturing, which is a lot of fun. Fun time. So it'll be up to you, Papa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it'll be up to you, Papa, Papa boy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um. Yeah. And then, like I said, we had the Union Party coming up. Union Party in part, part two dose. weeks, two-ish weeks. We'll have to work it out. Yeah, with, with the people to be probably, and I mean it'll have to be two weeks. So yeah, that will be at the end of March, yeah. before the end of March. Mm-hmm. We're like a month behind every month. Yeah, we'll get better. So at it. We'll be on time. The, we'll this, get the second one's going to come yeah. out like in no time. We'll get better at it. <laughs> because I just don't know. Well, it's like the very first podcast episode, like actually editing it. It took like three days to edit it because ah, I had no yeah, idea what yeah, I was yeah. doing. <laughs> Which, I mean, this one is a lot, it's a lot more intense, you know, like there's a lot more going Yeah, four hours of footage, three and a half hours of audio. Well, this is just like 40 minutes that I condensed down for the radio. And then the actual on YouTube one is the video yeah. and everything, yeah. which we do a classic at the beginning. Which and then sense. I sync it together, wrap it up, render it and play it. Put it ooh, in a, I it, got an SSD. Put it in a nice box for, ooh. I got a solid state drive nice. solely for podcast editing. Nice. If one episode of the viewing party, all that footage and audio takes mm-hmm. up the S- the SSD. So when I'm done, I'll have to clean and reinitialize everything. Don't be. Uh, but it's going to take rendering. On the hard drive, we it takes need- one hour to render a 30-minute show. It'll take 15 minutes to yeah, render a 30-minute show. I something we need to add to the list of things to get. What? A, um, I'll discuss with you afterwards. All right. Yeah. Lights is one of them. We need to get like actual we area lights. lights. We're going to... Area lights. I have up, tons of bulbs. Build up the sets a bit. Build build set a set. Bit. The set might be inside. Might change one. venues, yeah. You never know. But it's the right time. Can you believe it? 30 minutes. Can you believe Where it? Where does the time go? That. That's honestly one of the fastest ones we've done. This is one of the fastest ones. It was ones a good one, though. Flowed. It was a fun oh, time. Oh, good. <clears throat> Elisha. Do we have somebody that we can think? Oh, for all this wonderful goodness coming to your ear holes. Ethan, we sure do. This week's radio underwriter and podcast sponsor is Somewhere Liquors. Have you heard of them, Ethan? I have, Elisha. One, maybe twice. Maybe once or twice. Or 12 times. Somewhere Liquors is located in the Plaza Shopping Center across the street from Citizens Tri-County Bank. Ooh. Their physical address is 1100 Smithville Highway, Suite 137 in McMinnville, Tennessee. Their Great place. Hours. Friendly Ooh, great people. Place. Great place. Friendly people. Their business hours are 8 through 10, Monday and Thursday, and 8 to 11, Friday and Saturday. I will also link their Facebook page. Oh, good idea. They have a Facebook page. We should also add them to our Facebook page. Exactly. We have many things to do. We do. I also go before we sleep. Paul, Paul Revere. <laughs> they feature a walk-in beer cave. Ooh. Ooh, cool. Cool. With a wide selection of bourbons. Whiskeys, vodkas, tequilas, more. What, whatever you wet your I ran, whistle I ran with. Around a space to put it all, Ethan. With whatever you wet your whistle with. Exactly. Do you like that uh, that alliteration? Wet your whi- yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Somewhere Liquors for the underwriter radio position and for the sponsorship. Ethan? I'll ask you. It's been a good time. Very good. Thank you so much for to playing my game. 
somebody recorded my podcast. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> I'm an ever walking meme. Yep, I'm Elisha Hunt. Goodbye. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of the Third Opinion Podcast. Goodbye again. Goodbye again. Goodbye. Yep, bye-bye. Okay, goodbye.